that was an interesting challenge that actually worked itself out fairly easy by accident. In the original Biggest Story in 2015, um, we don't really show Jesus. If we do, it's his feet or maybe his hands reaching into frame. And that was kind of part of the charm of like uh, interpreting Jesus in that book is that you don't actually really kind of get to see him. In this book, we had to show him. And I had given all of the characters extremely bright outfits and and cloaks and and, and, um, wearables in the book. So what was kind of cool is I was able to kind of depict Jesus as we do see him a lot in just white. And so whether or not that's what he was wearing or not, we don't know, right? But the, the idea that, oh, by default, I had created all these characters wearing super extremely bright clothing. I can then show him wearing just white robe. Um, and, you know, there's, <laughs> I think every character in the book is wearing some sort of head covering or headdress. So that was another great thing. I didn't, I didn't have to do that with him. I gave him long hair. Again, depicting Jesus as we have seen him in, for ages, right? Whether or not that's what he looked like, but specifically the Renaissance, you know, you're going to go back and kind of this is how he's depicted. So I didn't want kids to go, is that Jesus? I wanted kids to go, oh, that is Jesus, even though this is uh, a stylized storybook. It was fun to kind of see how that came to fruition by accident.